Hey everybody! Happy Wednesday! Let's see, make sure I'm in the right place. It's always that moment of panic. All right, I am in the right place. I am going to get started pretty quickly today. I, uh, of course, have a, I ordered groceries. I'm having groceries delivered today. And of course, they're coming right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Prepare your dogs and cats because my dogs will probably start barking. Anyhow, no ice cream, so it can sit out on the porch for a little while. Let me fix this. Okay, so make sure you guys are finding me. Hello, are you guys there? Um, hmm. Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> I wouldn't see anything. All right, so today is day 10 of North Pole Mischief. Day 10. We're almost done. You know, every year at about day six, I'm like, why did I do this? I don't want to do this anymore. This is a lot. And then on day 12, I'm like, that was so much fun. We're totally doing that again next year. <laughs> but we are rounding the bend, getting to day 12. I'm excited about that. Um, day 12. It says sweet gingerbread. Well, sweet gingerbread has sold out, so we got to pick something else. I'm thinking about doing this Christmas lights bundle. I thought that had sold out, but I just saw it online. Still available. What do you guys think? Should we do that one to finish everything off? The only other thing I was thinking were the, the train, but honestly... The train, I'm kind of ugh, kind of over it because we did so many projects for the retreat. We also didn't ever do this little design a treat bundle, and it's so cute. Um, it is still available, but I noticed it's on low inventory, so I'm hesitant to do anything with that because as soon as I design it, it'll all go on. It'll sell out. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Christmas lights? Brightest glow? Yeah, you think? Um Patricia says, yes, Sue, you're so sweet. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Mary Alice. You are welcome. I do like it. You know, December's just crazy busy. And, uh, you know, you get caught up in those things. You're like, oh. Anyhow, free shipping tomorrow. This was a surprise, shock. I had no idea. I would have held an order or two. Um, but free shipping is tomorrow, one day only, on $75 or more. Um, so... It, this is a great opportunity to get those things that you did not get, the things you forgot on your last order. Um, obviously, these orders will not come before Christmas. This is for later. Um, get all of the things that are on the clearance rack. You guys, check the clearance rack. There's still a lot of stuff there. Um, also, the last chance list. Um, there was something else I was thinking of. I can't think of what it was. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff on there, so you want to check it all out. Um, as always, I like to sweeten the deal. However, this deal is also for 12 days. This deal is going to go from yesterday until the 24th, to uh, Christmas Eve. Anybody who places an order um, between now and then can qualify for these, okay? If you spend $50 with me, you're going to get the All-Star Tutorial. And by the way, I'm, I am... Past due, those of you who've put in orders, I'm late. I will send it out in the next day or two. I try to send it once a week, and it hasn't happened this month. Um, but if you spend $50 with me, you'll get that for free. And an embellishment goodie bag. Three or four embellishment goodie bag. I'm not sure. I'm going to put them together after Christmas. Um, if you spend $75 with me, you get that PDF. But you're also going to get, this is not an adhesive kit, but it is that same cute bag. It's a bag of embellishments all new embellishments okay $75 you get that free and if you spend a hundred dollars you're also going to get a pop-up trash can look how cute all right so a hundred dollars gets you both of these and I won't ship them until the end of the month so you'll have to be patient um if you only want to spend fifty dollars I'm still going to send you a goodie bag of embellishments um as a thank you all right so does all that make sense? There is a host code right here. It will be on my blog. Um, it'll be here on the top of the post when I'm done today. So get those lists ready. Tomorrow would be the best time to put that order in. 
All right, so before we get started, let's do door prizes. Yesterday's winner is Kathy Hillard. Kathy's getting Santa's delivery. And the day before that, Patty Kearns is also getting Santa's delivery. Thanks, ladies. I have both your mailing addresses. Um, I will get these in the mail probably tomorrow. Um, today, I've got another candy cane, sweet candy canes bundle. So if you'd like to win sweet candy canes, just go to pinkbuckaroo.com. I didn't check, but I think it's up. And um, underneath the last photo, there is, yep, underneath the last photo, let's look real quick. I said it was going to be fast today, and I, here I am talking. Scroll down right here under the last supply list. It says, I'm giving away prizes. And then click that link, and my question today is, what is your favorite Christmas song? Okay, and then I ask you your name and your address. Only That's only if you, because if you win, I want to be able to send it to you. Okay, I'm not going to spam you, add you to any list. I'm just going to send you a prize. All right, let's get started. Um, do you guys have North Pole Mischief? It is still available. The last I checked, I, I, you know, I actually haven't checked in the last few days. <laughs> is North Pole Mischief still available, you guys? I assumed it was, but who knows? Um, we're going to make a card and a treat box, okay? And we're actually going to use this image twice because I love it so much. Um, that reminds me of my dog, Pepper, so that's my favorite. Um, this is my favorite kind of stamp set, you guys know. Um, a, a black line image where we can color with our stamp and blends. I'm going to try to zoom in just a little bit. Oh, don't do that. Well, maybe not. This weird thing will pop up, and then I'm like, I don't know. It did zoom in a little bit, didn't it? Okay, um, we're gonna make this easel card. Have you guys made an easel card before? That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like from the side. It's not difficult at all. And this actually features paper from the upcoming celebration catalog. It's the farm animal paper, but it's a red or a cherry cobbler plaid. And I was like, um, this is screams Christmas. So we're using it. It will be available in January for you. All right, we're going to start with a basic white stitched rectangle. And uh, this rectangle is just barely big enough for our image, which I need to clean because I don't want to set it down the wrong place. Um, it's just barely big enough. In fact, I think maybe part of it just hangs off just a tiny bit, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna get it lined up right here. Is this the right, this feels like it's too small. Oh, look, this one is too small. Let's cut another one, hold on. Let me grab a die, hold on. Let's see, I thought I got the right one. Let's see, is it this one? Yes, okay, let's cut another die real quick. You know, those rectangles are very close in size. And I have a hard time, um, you know, just looking at it and tell, to be able to tell which one it is. Obviously today I had trouble. All right, stitched rectangles. I can't see comments, let's see. So if you guys are just joining, um, yes, Janet, please use the host code. Um, you know, the host code I have that we've used the last few days works as well, but I created a new host code just for this to try to keep them separate. But if you happen to use the old host code, you will qualify as well. Um, if you guys are just joining me, I was asking about, oh, that's an ugly rubber band. I wonder where that came from. I was asking about your suggestions for Friday. I don't have anything designed for Friday. Um, do we want to do the Christmas lights bundle or something else? And it has to be something that's still in stock, which cuts a lot of things out because we've got, oh, is that, is that crooked? It feels like it's crooked. Yep. All right. Well, we'll use the back. Boy, I am not doing real well today, am I? Let's try it again. Um, that design a treat. Let's try this again, Erica. 
that design a treat um, box. I still can't tell if that's, you know what, let's use the grid on the, if we use the grid on our Stamparatus, that will help us. Let's look and see, is it on the, yeah, that looks pretty straight. All right, let's try it again. I'm not cutting another one. Flashes or quick pauses on the screen. Hmm, that's weird. Sometimes um, Facebook is glitchy. And uh, when it uploads the clean recording, it will be better. So if you're having problems, another thing you can do is X out, leave completely, and come back. That usually will fix it. Okay, there we go. We've got our cute little dog and our our grumpy cat. So let me pull my chair over because I do much better coloring when I am sitting down. Decorated with happiness, Tammy has sold out. Yeah, I, I, I was considering that one, but yep, yeah, sold out. Okay, I want you guys to look at my cat. I can't really remember what I did with this cat. Did I use Cajun Craze? I know I used the Cajun Craze pencil, but I feel like I used pumpkin pie. No, maybe I used Cajun Craze. Okay, let's try Cajun Craze light. Look, I have, <laughs> that is wrong. Something is not right here. Their colors are wrong. I don't know what color that is. Let's try Cajun Craze light. Mm, that feels too dark. All right, let's go to pumpkin pie. We'll just do pumpkin pie. Yeah, I think that's it. And then we'll add in some darker shadows. But then we're going to add on those little stripes like we did with uh, um, all bundled up the other day with our watercolor pencil. That's my new favorite thing to do to add in some um, details with the watercolor pencils. All right, so there's kind of some tight spots here, so you want to use your, probably your bullet pe bullet point in. I don't know if you guys feel like, you know what? The other day I opened a brand new set of Stampin' Blends and the brush tip was, it wasn't like bendy. It was rather stiff. So I'm thinking that um, maybe a new uh, brush tip would be good to use because um, I wear them down pretty fast. I don't know. All right, so I'm going in now. That was pumpkin pie light. Now I'm using Cajun Craze light to kind of add in some shadows. All right, I wish I could zoom in more, but I can't. There's some weird pop-up thing and if I mess with it, we might get disconnected and then everybody will be mad. All right, now, Blend up all that with your light pumpkin pie, okay? All right, that looks pretty good. Now, I'm gonna take my Cajun Craze. Again, why the pencil is this color for Cajun Craze, I don't know. That is soft suede. Anyhow, we're gonna take this and we're gonna just do some like ziggy zags, okay? That's an official term, zigzags, ziggy zags down each little triangle of the cat to give us some details, some stripes. All right, we'll do some right here and we'll do some right here like that. All right, see how we added some, some texture to it with the stripes? All right, now let's take our cherry cobbler light um, Tammy, the gnomes. Okay, I hadn't considered the gnomes. Hmm, that's a good idea. You know, it's funny, when I have used a set for a class, then I like, I always say it's dead to me after that. Like I can't, it's hard for me to think of anything else with it. But that is, that is, you know, I do really like the gnomes and we have a new gnome stamp set coming out. Is the gnome stamp set that's in the holiday catalog, is it still available, you guys? I haven't checked the sold out list specifically. I just was looking at bundles on the Stampin' Up! website. 
There's quite a bit that has sold out. It's been crazy. The other day, um, I told you guys shipping was real slow from the first and the second. Um, well, that afternoon, they told us that the first, December 1st, was like the busiest day ever for the, the number of items ordered. Something like crazy. So that's why everything's taking a little bit extra. But they said they were getting caught up. They had lots of employees working that pick line. And uh, hopefully you guys have gotten shipping notifications if, if you haven't gotten, gotten your actual package yet. All right, cherry cobbler for the bow. Now I'm gonna use Granny Apple Green Light for the present. And it looks like my Granny Apple Green might need to be replaced. You know what, it looks like I use dark. Let's switch over to dark. All right, now after this part, the only thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit of shadow to our dog. Right, like that. Let's see, what are you guys saying? Still available, you second the gnomes. All right, all right, gnomes, Carol says. All right, anybody else? What say you? The gnomes, the train, the Christmas lights. I kind of had resigned myself to the Christmas lights, but now that you guys are saying the gnomes, I'm like, hmm. Okay, so there we've got that. Last thing we're gonna do is take our, our light gray, and I just like to add a little bit, just kind of a shadow around the edge of him, under the ribbon, maybe down a little bit down his face. And then I also like to take it and do like a, you know, so he's not just floating out there in space, a ground line. Um, also, we need to do the inside of his ear and his collar. Or her, maybe it's a her. Okay. How cute, right? Can you guys see it? Super duper cute. I love this one. All right, let's put our card together. This card is ridiculously easy. Oh, we forgot to do something. I was gonna do this before. So let me get my grid paper. We're gonna color, we're gonna color that linen thread again. This is my other new favorite thing to do. So get your cherry cobbler, get your linen thread, and we're just gonna color it a couple of times. Hey, you guys, something really weird happened yesterday with the videos, the Joyful Flurry videos. I uploaded them, set them to public. If you guys are YouTube people and you know how to upload a video, you have to choose. Do you want this to be public? Do you want it to be unlisted? Or do you want it to be private? So I had set it to, to public and I could see it on my blog, it was there. But then when I went to my YouTube channel, it was not there. And I went in and checked again, Every all the settings were right, I don't know. I texted my friend Anne Marie, she doesn't know, she can't see it on her end. So I didn't know what, but I could see that you, several of you had watched, I had a lot of views already. So I went in and I unlisted it, saved it, and then listed it again. And now it's up. When you go to my YouTube channel, you should be able to see those two um, Joyful Flurry videos right at the um, top. I don't know what happened. It was really weird. Okay, now this is a regular card, right? Like a four and a fourth by 11, except I scored it at two and three fourths and five and a half. And we're gonna fold this part back like that, okay? And we're gonna take this piece. This is a um, four and a fourth by five and a half piece of cherry cobbler. And we're just gonna set it on there like that. Okay, see how that is? And now it's gonna sit up when we put that little thing there. 
really easy. It folds down flat, goes into your envelope. All right, so we're gonna put the designer series paper. So see, this is the paper on the back. It's got farm animals that match some dyes in the spring catalog. It's very cute. So it's not on the supply list because it's not available yet. Um, it will be available January 5th. All right, so we're gonna put a strip of um, Joyful Flurry, and this is way too wide. Joy, not Joyful Flurry, Festive Foils here at the top. Festive Foils, I believe, is sold out. And I have also cut just a little scallop border also with festive foils. And I'm gonna put it down a little bit like that. Cut that off. And then we're gonna get that linen thread that hopefully is dry. And we're gonna tie that around. I don't know if um, Chris is on here today, but Chris, I got your box in the mail yesterday and I was gone late last night opened it this afternoon and I just have to say oh my gosh I will show you guys on Friday what she sent it is so adorable I'm I was like shocked how cute it was so stay tuned for that I just wanted Chris to know if she's on here that I got it I've gotten all kinds of goodies this week you guys have been spoiling me rotten all right so tie that cut off the ends and then we have this little puppy paw, right? And I cut out the little tag. Did we already lose it? Yep, here it is. This little tag is from the cracker guy. The, you know, the, the cracker, the crack thing like that. And that's what this is from. It, yes, it sold out. So look through your dies. I bet you have a tag. If you don't, you could use a circle. Well, that one's off-centered. I guess we'll go with that one. Oh, my stamping is terrible today. Terrible. All right, and I'm just gonna just put a little dot of glue and slide it under there. Look like looks like it's tied on, like a tag. Okay. And then, <laughs> Henry, what did I do? My cracker. What did I say? <laughs> Anne Marie brought me an amazing gift too. I have it I have it set aside to show you guys as well. Y'all's thoughtfulness and creativity for gifts. I'm going to start just crowdsourcing you guys whenever I need to think of a gift. Y'all are really good at thinking of gifts. Really good. Way way better than me. Again, crooked. Everything is crooked today. All right, so there's the front. Now all we're gonna do on the inside is put another piece of this Adorbs farm paper. And I think my grocery delivery is here. Everybody hold your breath. Hopefully the dog does not lose his mind. We shall see. All right, I like this saying, you've been good this year, mostly. This is a seasonal, label die, seasonal label, right? Did I say it right? When I type it into the supply list, it comes up, something else comes up when I type in, there's seasonal layers, there's seasonal labels, seasonal, yeah, I think it's seasonal labels. All right, you're gonna put a strip of this festive foil paper. Whoops, I'm out of the screen, sorry. And then take this guy and put your dimensionals on the back, okay? Um, <laughs> Patty, <laughs> and put that there like that, and then that will hold your card. Ta ta. Yes, it reminds me of Stormy too. Stormy did stay, didn't she? Patty, right? So Amory, um, Amory and Patty are both on my team, and Amory um, fosters dogs, and she had this super cute dog named Stormy. And Patty had started a campaign for Anne Marie to keep the dog. Hashtag Stormy Stays. <laughs> I think Stormy stayed, right, Anne Marie? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Stormy stayed. Stormy. This is a cute name. Anne Marie also had a, a um adorable little schnauzer. And I don't remember what her name ended up being. 
But I do remember when it came as, and it was really funny. Um, okay, so there's that project. Now, we're going to do this other project. I'm just talking away. I barely talked about that project. Hopefully, you guys, uh, Stormy is right at home. Hi, Stormy. So cute. Okay, next project. See how I'm just going to use a little dog? And this is a little drawer slider box with these. And I've never had these. I don't think they're new. Maybe they are. Ho-hos. <laughs> Are normal ho-hos this little? I was thinking they were bigger. And I was thinking they were little Debbie, but they're not. They're Hostess. And I'm pretty sure I got these at Walmart. All right? So let's make the box. First, you're going to need two pieces of cherry cobbler. And you're simply scored. Let me grab mine. Um, six and three-fourths by four and three-fourths. And we are going to score it at one and a half on all four sides. This will make your little drawer. Okay, one and a half, one and a half, one and a half, and one and a half. You know what we need to do Friday? I need to show you how to make a box, any size. That'll be one of our projects on Friday. No matter what we end up doing, I, I was saying, Juanita the Schnauzer, that's what it was, Henry. I will never forget that name. That is the funniest name for a Schnauzer, Juanita. It's cute. I think it should have stayed that name. So cute. Okay, now, uh, this piece of cherry cobbler, this is like the little tunnel that it goes in. Three and seven eighths by seven and a fourth. Now, everybody, cross your fingers that I have the measurements right. One and seven eighths, three and three eighths, five and a fourth, and six and three fourths. The reason I say that is because I made this box. This was where I had stopped being prepared. This, I had one of these made and I realized it like late day before yesterday, Harper, that was her name, super cute. And I um, made up this box real fast and I scribbled down the notes and I am hoping that my notes are correct. All right, so burnish your lines. Harper is a very cute name. Juanita is a cute name too. She was cute. She would have been cute no matter what she was named. All right, cut these corners. And then we're going to cut from the ends like this. We had a Christmas orchestra concert last night. And if you've had a child that plays probably any instrument, but the violin specifically... You know, it takes a very long time to get to where it sounds like it should. <laughs> and my sweet youngest child has played violin. This is her fourth year. And the concerts were, you know, they were still learning. See how I'm folding these in like this? And then I put my clothespins here. But last night's concert, she's in eighth grade. Last night's concert was so Good. I was like moved to tears at one point, which is not like me. So it was so Christmassy and so good. We're going to set that aside to dry. Um, it just really got me in the Christmas mood. And of course, my husband's out of town and he missed it. Um, it was just really good. All right. And of course, she's going to not do orchestra anymore next year. I'm like, you finally got really good. Not just her, you know, the whole group. I put adhesive right here on this um skinny tab on the end if you fold it over like that it makes that box like that all right so there's that so we'll wait for that to dry and we'll we'll see if we got the measurements right <laughs> in a minute all right so now we're going to keep this on here but we're going to clean it we just want the dog and since it has stamped on the grid paper that's going to help me know exactly where to put my paper in a minute all right but Actually, you know, we don't really even need to clean it because that's going to stamp on the grid paper. All right, so I'm going to take it right. Well, I don't want her whisker. So uh, you know what? Okay, I know what I'm going to do. All right, we're going to put it just like that. Okay, I'm using the grid lines to make sure we're in the right place. We're going to take, we are going to clean it because we don't want her whiskers on there. But we're also going to use our my uh I think my things need to be cleaned um post-it tape 
You guys, I forgot. I ordered something adorable that I was going to use this week um, as in that adhesive kit. And I'm, it's not going to come until the end of this week, but it is something super cute. And I will show you guys when it comes in. But it's another little surprise that you'll get in your little adhesive package. Um, all right, so use your post-it tape. Speaking of post-it tape, that's all I'll say. And just cover up those things that are close over here where we don't. It doesn't matter if this stuff gets inked because it's going to be on the grid paper. But those things that were close to him, we want to mask off. Okay. Now, carefully remove that and stamp him right there, right on the end. Okay. All right, now again, I'm just gonna take my, my, um, what is this called? Hello, Smoky Slate. And just do a little bit of this, a little bit of shadows. And another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my color lifter. Why I can't ever remember to bring my color lifter over here, I will never know. Let me grab it. And then if you take your color lifter and just kind of blend that, it just kind of all bleeds together. And it looks really well, really nice. All right, now he's a little bit shadowed. Let's see if you guys can see that. See how he's just got a little bit of shadow on him? Um, we also need the cherry cobbler, which is over here for his, her collar, like that, okay? Now, I'm going to take that Merry Christmas and I'm going to stamp it a bunch of times in Cherry Cobbler. And I'm just going to kind of do it wonky. It doesn't need to be straight. doesn't need to be perfect. We just want it to be like Merry Christmas. Merry, 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 Merry. Like that. Then you're going to stamp it on basic white and you're going to cut it out again with a seasonal label. And you want to stamp it. I'm going to have to pull it down here so I can see what I'm doing. You wanna stamp it on the left side so that you have a little bit of space over there on the end, okay? And then put a dimensional here and here. And we're gonna put this, oh wait, no, no, hold on. We've got a heart, Festive Foils again. Put this, cut with the Celebration Label dies. I'm gonna miss these dies, man. I use them all the time. And we're gonna put that. No, nope, you need to come over a little bit more heart like that. And then like that. All right, now I'm gonna use two different embellishments. These open leaf trinkets, which I believe are still available and they were pretty darn cheap, weren't they? I have to color her ribbon. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Robin. I did forget. I did, I totally forgot. All right, so I'm sticking that back here like that okay let me go back and color her ribbon i forgot isn't that funny how my brain like didn't see that at all all i could focus on was her collar okay thank you robin and then a little bit of a Simply Elegant gold trim. And we will get those glue dots. And let's close that marker. I don't like leaving those sitting like that. Take your pick tool, and we're gonna set that right there on the end. That's why we left some space down there on the end, okay? All right, so now let's go back to our box. Everybody hold your breath. Let's make sure that it slides in. And we have a winner. And I forgot to do something. We don't sell circle punches anymore, but if you have one, take it and just notch it like a half circle on each end. That will help you pull it in and out of the little, the little drawer. Okay, let's put our little ho-ho in. 
And then all we have left to do is put this cute little thing right here. And there you go. See, so look at your stamps differently. You don't always have to use the whole image. Those are big images. Same with, you know, like the moose. You could always just stamp it on a circle, just his face. Um, you know, you can just use partial parts of the stamp. Okay, that's it, you guys. That's today. Oh, you guys are going to be so proud of me. I have two gorgeous, can you guys hear that? That is my neighbor bringing in his trash can right next to my window. Um, I have two absolutely gorgeous Christmas barn projects for you. I did it. I'm so proud of myself. I told you guys I didn't know if I was going to be able to pull that out, but I did, and I can't wait to show you. I'm glad you guys challenged me to use it. So tomorrow, be looking for those recordings at 2 o'clock. We'll be, um, I won't be live tomorrow. I will be live again on Friday for our last day of 12 days, all right? Okay, that's it for me today, you guys. Um, don't forget to enter to win today and tomorrow. I'll be giving away two different bundles, and um, I will see you on Friday. Oh, and don't forget free shipping tomorrow. I'll be sending out an email for that. Now, you guys, I'm going to have to pull this out because something is weird here. I know. It's weird. All right. You guys, have a great day. I'll see you Friday. Bye.